In this video, I'm going to show you how to uninstall DirectX 12 on Windows 11. So first things first, I'm going to tell you some things you absolutely need to know before trying to uninstall DirectX. And the first thing that I want to say is that in most cases, and likely any time, you do not want to uninstall DirectX 12. Because it's important to know that this is not just some random operation on your computer and can cause some serious issues or malfunctions on your computer. And this is because DirectX is closely tied to the functioning of Windows. So uninstalling it, even maybe partially, can destabilize your operating system. And then the second thing is that many games and multimedia applications rely on DirectX components. So removing those may make them unstable or essentially unusable whatsoever. So the different versions of DirectX interact with each other and when uninstalling one can affect others. So in most cases, this is not necessary or smart to do at all. But if you really have to, and if it is absolutely necessary for you to essentially uninstall DirectX 12, I'm going to show you how to do it. And <clears throat> before we start, I suggest you back up all your data beforehand, because in the process, you may lose everything on your computer, because this is a dangerous process. So <clears throat> the first thing we're going to do before trying to uninstall, we're going to first try to repair um, this DirectX 12. Okay. And the way we are going to do this is as follows. So what you're going to do is go down here, to your search bar and type in run. So you want to open this up and then you want to type in DXDIAG, which is DirectX Diagnostics Tool. And when you open it up, this thing will pop up that I just had opened. Okay. So what you have to do from here is check if inside of these different tabs, there's any error messages. So if there are, so as you can see, I have no problems over here, no problems here as well, and then here as well. And if I click through all of these, <clears throat> there's no problems whatsoever. So already, there's no reason for me to uninstall DirectX 12, because if you're having some problems with some games or something on your computer, and there's no errors in here, most likely, there's nothing wrong with DirectX 12, but there's some other issue somewhere else. So make sure you try to find that first. Now, what you have to do, if you essentially have an error over here is go to the Windows website and download a file that matches your DirectX version. Okay. And then after that, you will have to restart your computer. But in most cases, this will not fix the issue. And likely in most cases, you will not have an error over here. So this the essentially the way if you still want to uninstall it, and you are sure you want to do it is you will have to restore your system. Okay, so you will have to essentially factory reset your computer if you want to completely uninstall it. And the way you can do this is by going to update and security. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to type in update security, there we go. So it's the Windows update settings over here. And then we're going to have to go into recovery. So over here, just type in recovery. And then as you can see over here, there's recovery options. Now what you want to do is click recovery options over here. And then you have an option which says reset this PC. Okay. And then once you click reset PC, you will have to select if you want to keep all your files or <clears throat> remove all your files on your computer. Okay. And of course, you would want to keep your files. So you want to click keep your files. And then after that, you want to click local reinstallation. Of course, I'm not going to click through, the, click through this process, because I don't want to reset my computer right now, there's no reason to do that. Now, once you have done that, just follow all your prompts on your screen. And then uh, essentially, you will have to reinstall your Windows operating system, and th therefore reset your PC. Okay, so that's the way to actually uninstall DirectX 12. And then there's also one more way, which you should do after you have re essentially rebooted and reset your system. And for that, what you want to do is go in here and type in registry editor, there we go, this is it. And in here inside the registry editor, we're going to have to try and find your direct X folder. Okay, so what you have to find is the um, this one, let me just find it for you. There we go. You have to go inside H key local machine. Okay. So it's going to be either this, I just said, so it's over here, H key local machine, you want to open this up. 
And then in here, what you want to do is go inside the software. And then inside software, you want to look for Microsoft. So it's down here. And then inside Microsoft, you want to look for DirectX. So as you can see, for me, it's over here. And there's all its components in here. First, I want to tell you yet again, this is a very dangerous operation. And whatever you change inside the registry editor will severely affect your computer. And it may not work at all after you do this. So please do not do it unless you absolutely have to. And I cannot stress this enough. Now, if you still uh, want to do it yet again, what you have to do is, of course, right click on the direct X over here, and then press delete. After that, you'll be prompted, you have to press confirm, of course, and then you will have to restart your computer again to finalize the uninstall. And then once DirectX is properly removed, you can then re-enable, um, I mean, you can then re reinstall it from the Windows official website, or again, by reinstalling Windows. So essentially, that's the entire process. But again, as I said, don't do it unless you absolutely have to. I hope this video helped you out, and if it did, Please subscribe to the channel and help me out as well.